Huh? Yup. Yo everyone, it's Kiralis. Welcome to this tutorial and today we're gonna build a small village house. As most of you know, I'm doing my uh, village on Hermitcraft server and I need some cool designs for houses. So I thought I will just share this one with you before you people ask uh, how I made those houses. So we're gonna start off by placing some blocks. We're gonna take the stone bricks, place them here. After that's done, let's just place four, well, four Wood on blocks. Doesn't matter what, what color, it's all up to you. I decided to take the dark wood because it looks pretty, pretty fancy. So let's do it. And let's see here. Let's just fill it in before you people say it looks like something else. So there we go. So from above, look something like this. Now take your, well, take some block. And I know this is actually not needed at all. Like the leaves won't decay if you place them like a player placed leaves won't decay but i really like to have those logs underneath just because it gives it some more texture look it looks like a bit roots or something so when this is done let's just pick up some uh, po -po -po -po. where's the stairs like i need some dark wood stairs as well so let's just place them here here will be the entrance uh well upside down there we go there's the house entrance it will be a really tiny house but it's still cozy like it's a villager's house so i guess doesn't really matter that much now take this out oh my god i hate like flowers in there there we go take it out by three blocks so you got something from above which looks like this back to the stone bricks now place your stone bricks in this shape oh my god come on sucks all right there we go here we're actually gonna place one more wooden block move it out and place a stone block there and now let's see oops this was actually supposed to go there and one on this side as well. So from above, we got this little layout. So I'm just gonna pause it here because some people usually tell me I'm going too fast. So from above, it looks like this. All right, let's just continue before I get bored. So light wood, next material is light wood. Well, you can, you can use whatever material fits you, but I think the light wood looks pretty cool. So, so I'm just gonna place it all around and this will be like a barrier just to keep us from falling down or the villagers at least place a block uh, here and the same goes here blocks 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 and blocks so from above actually this so we got the same view as last time all right and now comes the windows we're gonna have one window here which is too high Gonna have one window here, which is too high. Gonna have one window here, which is three high. Three, three, I don't know, it's cool. Anyways, it looks cool. All right, so once this is done, people, let's just fill in the space here with light wood. Like one more row of light wood. All the way around. So, same shape for as before. Now, let's go to the dark wood. I'm gonna place it here and here we're gonna place it on those we're gonna place it here and we're gonna place it here on the front here where will be the door entrance we're gonna actually take the stairs and place them upside down there we go so from the front and from above cool all right so let's just start on the roof uh, take out your po -po 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 dark wood slab and start by placing three rows here from the edge and three in all the way out to this railing from the other side we're gonna take this out like this turn it around on this one so it looks something like this like this like that like this like that all right, now take it one more further down and place it so it looks something like that. Yep, 
kind of works, kind of works. From the inside, just connect it to the other side and take it out all the way out to the other one. On this one, as this is only too high, let's do the same, but just place the slabs as they are and take them all the way, oops, take it all the way, oh, I missed my reach command. There we go, and here as well. On this one, we'll be doing this instead. Take them out like a, by a full block and then just place some stone slabs. So it gives some nice texture and looks cool. Actually, we are almost done, to be honest. There's actually not much left to the house. So let's make it pretty. Take your slabs, place them here on this side. Can take them on this side. Here at the end, we can maybe just put a, a bush or something just to give it some more detail. On the back side, we can just place some logs down instead. And the same goes for this side, I guess. There we go. Pretty easy peasy. All right, so as you can see, we need some support for the roof here. And by doing that, we're just gonna place a fence pole all the way up, oops, here. So now we got some support going, looks pretty fancy. All right, so let's work on the inside a bit. It's gonna be a really tiny house, so it will go really quick. What do we need? We need a door. We need some materials as a chest. We need a crafting table, we need a furnace, we need a bed, we need a sign, I guess. And maybe some light with stairs just so maybe we can make a, a couch or something. And as well, let me just see a fence pole for the table. Oh, all right. So on the inside, place the door from the inside. So it opens nicely so you can just walk out straight away. It's pretty good. All right. Let's take your crafting table put it here furnace goes here delete that block above here and then just place a half slab so now we can just place our chest here and it opens because it's free up here bed a little chair sitting area there we go so I'm just gonna put a take a torch and also we need what more do we need? We need a torch and a pressure plate. Pressure plate, pressure plate. Torch here. Actually, take your half slab and place one half slab here. One here, no, that kind of blocks the view. So just one here, so it looks cooler from this side. All right, and a pressure plate. Take the sign and place it on the chair. So it looks pretty cozy. Look at that, we got a fancy villager house. One more thing we could actually do before we end, put a painting in here. Look at that, just beautiful. I'm using the Fateful texture pack in case anyone knows, because that's the texture pack I'm using on Hermitcraft server and I will be building these houses there, so I thought that would be the best way to go. Actually, what we could maybe do, if we just delete that, that will give us some more light. Oops, not that one. There we go. So now it kind of gives us more light and it looks more cozy. Maybe we can actually delete that whole thing. Yeah, look at that, it looks much better. But replace that. There we go. So peeps, uh, I will do one more video soon, which I will, oh, actually what we could do here on the front, we're gonna place a torch as well, just to get some light going. There we go. Uh, I will do a video because I will mirror this house to the other side and make a farm in between them so the villagers can farm stuff and it will look pretty good. But yeah, thank you for watching. This was really simple and hopefully you liked it. If you did, please leave a comment, like, favorite, whatever. Peeps, diamonds and love and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye bye. <laughs>